Hey everybody, welcome to another new video. Uh, before we get into this bowcraft, if you do like the content that I'm putting out, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. I will be putting out videos every Tuesday and Friday, but you know, sometimes life happens, and that's why this one's coming out on a Saturday. So we'll get right into it. So uh, there's generally three different ways that you can craft um, tornado shot or lightning arrow bow. Um, there's the cheap version, and then there's the moderately expensive version, then the super expensive version that I don't even have the fractured plus two arrows. All right, so for the super cheap option, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is just get a six link short bow. Um, the item level requirement, uh, level requirement is level 50 uh, in order to do this because you're gonna wanna use screaming essences of wrath. If you use wailing or weeping, then it will just upgrade. You can't just keep re-rolling it. Um, so you will need to get that. Uh, I mean, they're super cheap. So regular six link short bow. You're looking at five to eight, ten chaos at most. Um, but yeah, so you'll just spam it with screaming essences of wrath, and we'll pull up path of exile or craft of exile here. Tier three wrath, and you just keep spamming it until you get, you know, some res on there. Maybe some accuracy, some additional damage uh, I would I would honestly just spam if you're starting out and you're like right at level 50 you know, some sort of res maybe some extra decks the mana per enemy killed because mana kind of sucks in the beginning and yeah I mean screaming essences of wrath are super cheap spam it until you get what you need and then just go you know you should have a tabula if you're starting a new character a second character or even a new character you know just Start with whatever you got until you can afford a tabula. They're like 20 chaos. This late in the league. If you're playing on standard, they're, you know, they're, they're basically free. The next option is somewhat expensive. You're going to want to get a fractured tier one um, adds whichever elemental damage is cheapest to you. So right now these are about one to three divines, give or take. Um, we'll put it at 317 just so we can see. It's a pretty high roll in there, but you know, three to nine divines. Uh, these are probably pre-crafted already as well. If you want to get tier two, you know, like one divine. So pull up Craft of Exile. We've got this one here. So the best thing about this is that you already have one tier one. So you can keep spamming until you get um, attack speed on there. And that could let you, you know, craft on a uh, chance to do double damage and just, you know, slam it with an exalt. Hope for the best. That's the medium budget version, I would say. Uh, a higher budget version is going to be this one. So you're going to get a thicket bow with crafted or fractured uh, bow attacks fire and an additional arrow. Now, you can go for <laughs> the uh, the thicket bow with two. You're looking at about 50 to 70 divine. So uh, we'll go for one and three to ten. Um, it's more expensive, obviously, because it's fractured. But also, you also have to uh, pick a Deafening Essence and then hope to get high tier of uh, at least another one and then like a medium to high tier of the other one. So this one has, as you can see there, uh, Deafening Essence of Wrath spammed to get tier 2 cold damage and then tier 8 fire damage. It's not great. Um, I got lucky when I was uh, crafting this one. I got tier 1 crit strike chance, so it's super nice with no additional suffix, so I just craft on increased attack speed. Not bad. So, after I crafted that one, I was like, well, like, attack speed's nice, but elemental damage is better for me, personally. So, I went with uh, an Imperial Bow with Fractured T2 cold damage. The reason why I did that is because lastly, when I played Tornado Shot, I got a Tier 1 Fractured Cold Damage Thicket Bow. Pretty sure it was tier one and uh basically did the same thing just spammed i think it was definitely essence of anger uh until i got a higher high-ish tier of lightning damage i think i actually got like attack speed and accuracy when i was spamming it uh, but this one i haven't finished it yet because i'm not level 66 yet um but the process will be the same so i'll show you how to finish crafting uh the bow attacks finder an additional arrow so 
you know, you basically just spam wrath, hatred, or anger until you get all three. That's why it, you know, it's the most expensive option. Obviously, if you get Votax Fire 2 additional arrows, then it'll be even more expensive. Uh, your odds to get all three at a high tier are pretty low. Um, it happens, you know. It's RNG, so, you know, randomly, random number generator. You could hit it with one Deafening Essence of Wrath and get triple tier one. It's possible. Not probable, but it's, <laughs> but it's possible. So you got tier one, nine, eight. We'll just say that these are, you know, this is tier one, obviously, because it's Essence. This is tier two and tier five or something. That's about what you would want to stop at. Uh, you would just go to Suffixes as long as you have all of your multi-mods. Uh, unlocked. Go to prefix not be changed. And then you have a couple options here. Um, you can reforge speed to get attack speed. Tier 5. If you don't like it, craft on prefix not be changed. Do it again. Hope you don't fill up your, su <laughs> fill up your suffixes like this. Because then, I mean, prod speed's nice. Crit multi's nice. Um, you just gotta yellow and null it. And then lose one of your elemental damage ones. Let's say you get lucky and <laughs> you have a better chance of an all in these. Then you do this again and then reforge speed until you get attack speed. If you get attack speed on the first chance, I would say keep it uh, because then you can just go on and craft on uh, increased chance to deal double damage. As far as my bow that I have right now, the fractured T2, T2, and the essence fire damage, uh, it's at uh, 1,032 elemental damage per second. Really, anything over 1,000 will get you to the end game. Obviously, you know, you have to have the rest of your gear as well, but just specifically the bow. Um, so once I get to level 66, then I'll worry about actually finish crafting it. But you just do prefix, prefixes cannot be changed, and then you scour it. Then kind of up to three crafted modifiers, and then you just craft on attack speed and chance to deal double damage, and you're done. One up to 1168. As I said, this method does work for tornado shot or lightning arrow. Um, it, works with, it probably works with ice shot, and just really any any bow build that uses Trinity, so you can get all three elements at the same time. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like the video. Drop me a comment if you have any questions and smash that subscribe button.